Good morning, everybody. Me and Brian are uh, doing the deed today. We're taking a shower. Now, where do we go? Store I mean, office. Store office yeah. Or off ice. Hair? Well, you can get your hair cut here, too. Perfect. <laughs> hair salon. They'll probably want me to shower first. Not, not together though. Yeah, not together. It's probably. okay. It looks like uh, we scored on a price of a shower only five bucks compared to a truck stop shower, which is twelve. Thank you. Thank you. This is what we're looking at here. This is what you get for five bucks. Two shower stalls. Three. Perfect. See that? So. Hopefully nobody's Hopefully nobody's <laughs> Exactly. So this is what we're looking at here. This is five bucks. A little place to store your stuff. Shower. Boom. Ah, there we go. Lights, camera, action. Be this is just as good as any truck stop I've ever showered at. Wow, do I feel like a new man. I just mentioned to Brian that I didn't, meant, I didn't realize how bad my clothes smelled until I took a shower and put them back on. This, is, uh, this has got to be a record for me since I was a kid. 10 days, no shower. Big Ben. I was definitely pretty ripe. Well, sir, how, how, how do you feel? Awesome. So much better. <laughs> Keen. Yeah, it's amazing what a shower can do for your energy. Revitalized. Hey, Bobby, why do you like soul food? Because it makes me happy. Guys, look at how outstandingly beautiful this is. This is on a super wide lens right here, 16 millimeters on a full frame, if you know what that means. And so it's kind of distorting everything and making it look super cool. But Brian and myself right now are gonna jump inside the visitor center uh, just to make sure that we are not forgetting or missing out on anything. Just uh, jumped outside of the bus. Brian is in the uh, driver's seat, and uh, <laughs> we just just got the coolest Instagram shot ever. So let me just run up, and I, I guess I'll just jump inside. Rock. This is like the sickest parking spot I've ever had in my life. Look at this place. Just outstanding. So we are at the Grand where we at? Grand, Grand wash. wash. Grand Wash. We're heading up to some arch. I can hear my echo. Echo! I can hear my, that's cool. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's so dope. Uh, anyways, we're heading up to the top. There is some arch up there. And uh, is that all we're seeing? Yeah, Cassidy Arch. Yep. All right. Yeah.
Look at this view. So we are just a little ways up. The trail is down below. Look a little bit closer. If you can see that, that's maybe say 300 feet up. So if we're going a thousand feet up, then uh, we still got a ways to go. So we made it up to the arch. We got this crazy, crazy dude out there that uh, Brian's uh, doing that. taking a picture of. I thought about walking out there, and then I thought, you know, who are you kidding? You don't like heights. <laughs> Look at this nutcase. Ah, uh, you're good. You're very welcome, man. Oh, there's no way I'm going out there at all. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Quite happy right here. Yeah, I'll give you uh, I'll give this camera. So I did the unthinkable because this thing is like 30 or 40 feet wide. I kind of feel safe because I can't see how far down this actually goes. You know, normally I'm a scaredy cat, and uh, that is really far down there. So we're gonna do a, a picture with my camera. Brian's gonna walk back over there. And then I'll look like a devil, a daredevil. But in reality, I'm just a giant chicken. Ah! Evil Jack Sneevil made it out there on the arch, the arch of no return, but I returned doing the unthinkable. It's not really an adrenaline high whatsoever. Wasn't afraid. Plenty wide. It just like makes me lose my balance when I look down and it's way further than where my feet are, if anybody can relate. So if you can, let me know in the comments. Cause uh, I've been thinking there's something wrong with me. <laughs> By the way, it's quite an amazing day up here. I would say it's in the uh, mid 60s to low 70s. Beautiful sky, as you can tell. Oh, it's just awesome out here. It is just so amazing. The stars were so bright last night. To, to rise up and overthrow their capitalistic map. All right, made it back. How many miles is that? 3.3 miles. 3.3. 3.3 miles. We were way up there somewhere. And uh, we are finally back to Dan the Adventure Bus. Let's just make sure no big huge rocks collapsed on it. Looks pretty good to me. I was telling Brian, I got these reflecty things that go in the mirror and I was telling him the bus wouldn't be that hot. And it's not. What do you think? Not too bad for being baking in the sun, right? No, not bad at all. Yeah, these things really work well. We're just saying bye to Brian right now. He's taking off. See you, dude. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we will uh, cross paths uh, in Colorado where he's going to be campground hosting. That would be super cool. So, um, I'm just going to try and find this hot springs. I don't get really good service right here, but uh, Mystic Hot. Anyways, I'll do that in a little bit. That's the direction I'm going to head. I think it's about 50 or 60 miles. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. Also, what do you think about this little uh, little change up I did here? This is a Navajo blanket. I put the other cushion right in there. And this one just goes on the outside of the, the one that's kind of sewn. I think it kind of adds some color in here. What do you guys think? It kind of has like the full on Southwest vibe going on, which is totally cool in my opinion. Um, yeah, been an awesome day, good hike. It's good to get some exercise. Really gonna look forward to uh, having that shower installed so I can rinse off after a day like this. So I can do these things more regularly and stay in shape and lose that spare tire a little bit. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to, uh, to life in the bus. All right, you guys ever get a uh, like itchy bum from uh, athletic shorts? Well, I do. 
So uh, just changed into a, some <laughs> boxers. Because <laughs> uh, they're cotton and they're breathable and my bum's not so itchy. <laughs> hey, hang on, let me turn this navigation off. Alright guys, so I stopped at a place called Mystic Hot Springs and it looks like uh, Dan the Adventure Bus has uh, found a few friends over here. It's like uh, we got a red short bus, we got a multicolored short bus. Well, that's not a short bus. Looks like uh, Into the Wild short bus full of scraps. There's a vintage yellow short bus, a bunch of hippie mobiles, a tan one, blue whale, <laughs> a uh, brown one with a, a VW bus welded to the top. It looks like we got another old yellow one that needs some windows. And uh, there's one more down here. It's kind of a cream colored one. Looks like that one has yet to be uh, fixed up. So <laughs> I'm not really sure what the setup is here, but it looks like this is all one giant property. And I'm probably going to like the owner. He seems like a pretty fun dude with all these uh, crazy buses on the property. Um, I am going to get a parking spot here and possibly stay for two nights because, well, after all that dry Utah desert dust and red rocks and etc., you know, I kind of feel like I, I deserve a, a nice soak in a hot springs for uh, a day or two. So I'm going to go inquire and, uh, See what the see what the scoop is, but I'm here right right before sunset. All right, this is what the uh, adventure bus looks like with uh, some green LEDs. <laughs> I've learned that um, when you have the white LEDs on, here let me show you. It'll get really bright for a second. When you have the white LEDs on like this, the bugs seem to love it. So. I've been putting on red, have it on green right now, just to do a little uh, cooking. Uh, you can't tell, but that is black bean uh, soup, some organic stuff. Looks kind of cool with the fire at night. Um, anyways, I am parked at the hot springs, like I think I mentioned, and um, I will show you guys tomorrow, because I'm tired. <laughs> and I've been driving too much. I was just chilling for a couple hours. Um, but yeah, I will show you this place tomorrow. Which it is quite remarkable. So, thanks for watching and I will see you manana.